everybody, welcome back to Alan Wake Remaster. This is episode three. Oh my goodness. Marty. Two. No, it's, it's certainly not. It's episode three. But you're doing the second episode, part one. Jesus Christ. It's episode three. Um, I know that because I uploaded part one and two uh, last night and this morning, so I know that for a fact. This, <laughs> this is part three. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification to get notified when I make new videos. Also, shout out to my girlfriend Hannah. She's in the room with me. She is enjoying this game as much as I am. She's not even playing, which is crazy. So yeah, let's get into this. But we do actually have to do the this. The was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. <laughs> also, I know that I missed some a manuscript in the last episode, but hey, that's all right. Hopefully, we can skip this cutscene as well. Cause you've already seen it. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. I should have started this video ten times. Worst weather I've ever seen. Ten times earlier. Right now I'm just looking for little pages, manuscripts. Uh, we're gonna do all this stuff, we're trying to find everything. Uh, hey, but handsome. This is gonna be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Yeah, we're gonna need that coffee. Pick up the manuscripts. Oh, it looks like we got like more than definitely more than one page of manuscript right there. <laughs> I'm being honest. Couldn't go anywhere else. That's it. Alright. This is coffee pot. Coffee's on! Is that a new TV? Yeah, it is. 4K? Okay, let's just go to Alice. It's not a 4K TV. Oh, hey, Probably a box just TV. finish those cover mock ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. Alright, let's check it out. Alan Wake. Return to Cinder. What I can't forget. Alex Casey. The things that I want. The fall of Casey. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, get called. Oh, shit. Alan? Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry! How is she this scared of the dark, man? She's like 30. She's like 30 years old. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really scared me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. <laughs> Let's go get those candles. It's just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. 
I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Mr. Wick, any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. No. Very good with your job. Um, shut up, old man. Goodness gracious. Wait, we get some water. The hell are you doing, old lady? I ain't gonna examine none of that yet. Apparently that's not called a thermos. Apparently that's called a thermos. <laughs> I know. I did not know that. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Alright. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local I already been in there, that old man wouldn't shut up. One second, just trying to make sure we get everything. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Why you messing? Why you figuring that out? Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. Do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who again. is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the center of the left. Look inside this junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all in the same cage here. After you ditch the cops, you can meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. Ah, these people watching you. These people talk a lot, man. You don't have to tell me all that. I know what I'm doing. Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? No, thanks. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Why not? The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. Any script? Bro, we need to, he needs light, man. He, uh. Oh, man. My eyes and made my headache. The man on the phone had said, "Go through the fence on the left." Coffee. I'm trying to turn all these on so that uh, potentially I can uh, 
stuff. Yeah. So that, uh, I don't know, maybe it's like an achievement. But, uh, anyways. How are we gonna get... Wow, man. Got another manuscript. I'm looking for like everything. Driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. What? Oh. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You went down. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here. Here in Great Falls. Barry, listen, listen to me. me. I'm, I'm at, at the, the sheriff's station. station. Come, Come and get me. me. I can't talk now. I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Let's go. Exit the sheriff's station. They're gonna stop me from doing that. Can't just walk out. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness. Oh, shit. Of nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop. The world I'm making dies. He's just asleep. It's a long, hard journey into the Marvelous, sir. I just wanted to say... All right, let's get out of here. ...the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently paused on their recent... We just walked out like that? better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Oh, right. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. Oh my goodness. Who the hell has a... Uh, oh gosh. Can't be telling me this. I'm gonna quit my job. Seriously, Al. What you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. Wait here. It ain't time yet. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? Anything else? 
was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice, Do you and everything's just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. I don't care, man. I'm just looking for manuscripts and thermos. You're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Shut up. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You're at Cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Buck to Charlie. Oh, okay, sure. All right. You can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always can't believe end up a disaster. This place is crazy, man. They're just letting me grab a document. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing. Listen, you hit your head. It's whatever, man. I don't care. So what? What you gonna do, bud? I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths. Do I get to drive in this game? Or is it just going to put me in a cutscene? If you have a kind of hope I get to drive. It's right below that. Try to pull a joke on me. Freak me out. It's just working. Barry, shut up, dog. Seriously. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. All right. Wow, man, this game just batteries, nine batteries. I want to look around, see. I want to gather everything. Got a thermos. Is it really? This is one dark little game here, man. I'm confused on what I just did. I turned off that light. Alright. <laughs> We're messing around with the lighting too much. Let's just face it. It's dark here. God, I hope we come back and like... Barry is just like... Gone. Because... He talks too much, man. Some people may like him, but I think he's annoying. My character got like a... Are we gonna be on the... Hey, screw... Let's go. Yeah, but... I keep saying it, but we're gonna search these places. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. But I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center. And it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Alright. I mean, I, I... I don't know, man. I'd still rather, uh... I'd still rather, uh, not, I'd, I'd rather drive the car if I'm being honest. All the stuff we've been through? Come on, man. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson just parked his rear end in the studio. Ah, your best Some revolver ammo. Well, you'll make a 
Holy shit. Bro, I know I saw him. What was that, man? Oh, God. The fear is setting in. I think that's kind of dumb. I think you should be able to climb over porches. Also, in part four, let me know if. Oh my goodness. Uh, but in, in part four, let me know if you would rather me just continue just not looking for stuff. And uh, I'll be glad to not do that anymore. But I feel like it's I feel like it's better this way because we, we can find things that uh, could be important. I don't want to go up there yet. We got a manuscript page, but we're gonna go up here. Yeah. Also, just fun to explore things and, uh, you know, kind of just gather all this stuff up. It's kind of better that way. Kind of get the full experience. My goodness. Manuscript. Yeah, just give me a second, dog. Should I look around? The ranger's office was locked. I need a key to get in. Hello? I'm out of here. Hey, please help me. Yep. Just give me one second. We were just in here. Rusty sounds close to death. It would help me understand what had happened. I think Rusty's gonna die, everybody. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. This is what we gonna do. We could have just kicked that door open like we did the other one. I don't know why we couldn't. One second. All right. 
Dang, I'm surprised at how much stuff we're finding. And batteries? 11 batteries? That was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. Can I take that? No way to get the lights back on. Shit. Rusty, my goodness, where'd he go? Oh my Something goodness. Had torn a man -sized hole in the wall. My goodness. There's a huge boss. Fishing is only permitted for those persons who purchase a part. Oh, shit. Go. Jump behind my ass. Holy shit. We had to wreck him. I got him reloaded. Bruh, we have to do clip it to this fool. Go. Nine batteries. Let's go. Much darker things here. What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Goodness gracious. Manuscript. Is that batteries? No, that's the case of beers. Unfortunate. Trying to make sure I ain't missing anything again. These birds are like the scariest part, man, because like some of them are evil. Evil birds. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Well, I bet you there's something over here. Oh. I'm in the sense that it's not going to be as easy as just doing that. Oh, I'm getting hit. Holy oh, shit. Bro. Alright, we gotta pull out that flare. Come on, gather around. We don't have it? We don't even have a flare gun anymore. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail.
Jeez. I bet I could have snuck past him. I forget about this guy behind me all the time. Come on. We're out of ammo. Stay back. What do I do here? What am I supposed to do? Just fucking run, I guess. I don't know how to dodge. I don't know how to dodge fools. I suck with the dodging mechanic. It's like L1. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Fuck me, man. I missed the dodge. Thank God. Uh, I don't want to go up here real fast. Manuscript. I haven't seen a thermos in a while. <laughs> Alright, he's getting a little eerie. Boy, what the hell? Hold on a second. Freaky. We're out of ammo. Shit. Fucking make her break. Fucking make her break. Go, go, go. How did I die? I don't know. I got the hell out of him, man. Oh my god, we don't have any ammo. Fuck me, man. supposed to get through these fools without ammo. He's gonna pull up. He ain't see me. He ain't see me. Let's go. Oh, oh he saw me. Oh god. Fuck. How the fuck? What is that? Ah! Ah! Jesus Christ. Whoa. All right, we got 12 shots. Get out of here. Oh, the bitch. Bro, fucking make it, bro. Let's go. <gasps> I can't do it. I can't do this shit. 
Checkpoint. Shit me. Oh my goodness. There'll be some in here for me. Fourteen shots. Let's go ahead and reload. Hold on a second, I want to check something. Okay. Still doing some. Yo, I saw you, man. Oh my god. It's two of them. Gosh, let's go. Get to the light. You can't get me. Reach lovers leak e creek uh, creaky leaky. Oh my goodness. I'm sure I've missed like so many thermos and thermoses and uh, uh, manuscripts but but right now I was kind of just freaking out because I only got like I only got like eight shots and that's not really good Flashlights, kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's episode of Alan Wake Remastered. We're gonna have uh, the next episode probably come on up a little bit later, around uh, maybe eight, maybe like eight thirty. We'll be out. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the uh, bell notification beside the subscribe button to get notified when I upload more. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.